హెల్లో ఎవ్రీ వన్ వెల్కమ్ టు అవర్ ఛానల్ స్ప్రౌటింగ్ సీడ్స్ అండ్ విష్ యూ అ హ్యాపీ దివాలీ టు ఆల్ ద వ్యూవర్స్ వెల్ హ్యాపీ అండ్ సేఫ్ దివాలీ టుడేస్ టాపిక్ ఇస్ గోంగూర విచ్ ఇస్ బోత్ గ్రీన్ స్టెమ్డ్ అండ్ రెడ్ స్టెమ్డ్ కెనెఫ్ ఆర్ గ్రీన్ స్టెమ్ సోరల్ ప్లాంట్ ఇస్ హైబిస్కస్ కెనబైనస్ రోజలా ఆర్ జమైకన్ సోరల్ ఆర్ రెడ్ స్టెమ్డ్ ప్లాంట్ is hibiscus septarifa both are grown as edible leaves here in india it is a summer crop and the hotter the place the more sour the leaf gets the red stemmed variety is actually more sour than the green stemmed variety it is popular in states of india in andhra pradesh telangana karnataka manipur tripura and also mizoram the baby gongura leaf is a full leaf as the leaves grows older the leaf split into four or more parts sorrel is a lettuce like plant with arrow shaped leaves it has fresh lemony taste that complements salads and also can be made into a creamy soup once established in your garden sorrel is a hardy plant that requires a little care and effort apart from watering and weeding and not only the leaves but also the red rosella fruits are edible and can be made into interesting jams before seeds form in the fruits sorrel grows best in full sun of at least 6 hours do not plant sorrel near other vegetables that grow tall such as beans or tomatoes strawberries make good companion plants i have planted sorrel crowded in a small square foot area i've also planted by giving it enough space to grow bushy by sowing seeds very far and pinching the tips off on planting it very near i could enjoy the tender leaves more both the ways it's fun to grow them this plant grows amazingly in containers too so all the container gardeners out there this is the best plant to grow as well do consider it once Sorrel needs pH of 5.5 to 6.8. Till the soil to a depth depth of 6 inches. Mix organic compost to enrich soil so that it's very fertile. Sorrel needs well draining soil. Dig a hole and fill it with water to see how well the soil drains. If the water stands too for a while before draining, mix in more organic compost and a little sand to help it drain better um plant the seeds in early spring and can also be planted several weeks before the last frost of the season uh, sow them half inches deep keep the soil very moist test the soil to see if the if it needs water by inserting your finger in the soil near the sorrel roots if it feels dry go ahead and water the sorrel water near the roots rather than sprinkling water over the leaves this will prevent the leaves from catching mold and rotting this is a very interesting tip of the day preferably preferably water in the morning only because when you water it in the evening it has not got uh, any sunlight so that the water dries off for controlling aphids and infestations use your hands to pick the leaves off and a jet spray of water to dislodge the aphids if any you can grow sorrel plants by stems too once you see the flowers are forming the fruits are forming let them form and just pinch small stems the suckers from the bottom and planted somewhere else one interesting thing i've seen in sorrel is it is amazing with transplanting um if you get gongura or sorrel near your vegetable market you can just bring it off to your uh, home and if if the, um no matter if there are roots uh, in it or not you can just plant it in your soil and it just grows really well and talking about the soil 
here it is red soil so the soil in the ground we have grown in red soil and for the organic compost we have used vermi compost or the chicken manure or the goat manure and in the containers uh, it has really shown good results when i have grown with cocoa peat compost sand and some vermiculite and perlite just try growing this amazing herb once and you'll really love it we use this uh, leaves in our dals on a daily basis i hope you have liked the content on this channel please do like share subscribe and do all the good things and keep watching them